Hello, good day to each and every one in the entire universe, the world at large, friends, colleagues, and others. Today, I want to address a situation that happened 19 years ago in the United States, 18 years ago in the United States of America. And yes, yesterday was a day of memory, a day of mourning for the friends and family that lost their loved one on the problem of the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and other way in the United States of America. It is totally unfair. When we get hurt, we cry very loud. And we want the world to listen to us. But it is also fair when we are killing people, we don't want the world to say nothing. I love the United States of America. I'm a citizen of this country, but I'm a citizen of the world first. I'm a human being, and I believe in saving lives and humanity. Politicians all over the world should have learned, learned from World War I, World War II. Bombs and guns do not save the world, not bring it to salvation, but send it into starvation and agony, pain and memory. And no one wins the war. You might win it with your nuclear bomb, but then you are killing yourself. You might win it by annihilating three quarters of the world, but then you are causing problems for your generation and yourself. Because within your same country, you may have people from all walks of life belonging to some of those countries you rain your bombs down on. And I'm talking about the superpower, Russia. China, America, England, Israel, and others. What do we learn from World War I or World War II? What do we learn even from the biblical war? Is a solution come about or is getting worse? When it all began was iron bow, sword and spear, chariots, today's plane and tanks, ships and bullets and rockets, but yet we are not learning anything. My fellow human being, I'm appeal into all of you. I sympathize not only with what happened in America on 9-11. I sympathize with the world at large who are suffering because of corrupt dictators who is politicians that shape the destiny and the future for their country. If we all united, we can make this world an outstanding place. We can unite and bring civilization to the highest peak. I call upon all the priests around the world to join hands in solidarity and call for a world peace. Whether you are black, brown, or yellow, or green, all of us have a part to play. Whether we speak Chinese, Arabic, English, or French, or Dutch, or German, we all have a part to play. Human civilization can only go so far. I sympathize with every man and woman in this world who are suffering because some politicians take their family life. Some politicians bomb a country. I sympathize with everyone who suffer the pain and agony. There are thousands upon thousands of children in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, even in China even in America, who are suffering because they lost some loved one in a stupid war created by corrupt politicians. Even in the United States, we are calling to stop this nonsense now and give the world a chance between five to seven years and let's talk instead of using bombs, guns, and racket to annihilate each other. This is not the world the Almighty Lord have put here. For all you priests, Pandits and imam around the world. I call upon you all to make a day so we all can go in fasting and call for peace. I call on the UN to stand up with us and start to liberate the world. Let's not support dictators that create catastrophe for the nation that got them running across the Atlantic and the Pacific, losing their life. They become food for shark and fishes. Let's put an end to this nonsense that these dictators caused the nation to run away only to be used and abused, raped in other countries such as Arabia, Libya, Egypt, 
and Latin and South American and other African countries. Young men are suffering. Young women are suffering. My fellow citizens, I'm appealing to all of you. Let's work together. Stop supporting dictators from South Africa to Rhodesia to Egypt to Arabia from Kuwait from London to France from America to Argentina or the Falklands. Let's put an end to this human crisis. Let's unite and make God world a great place that we can enjoy until our departure by sickness or death, but not by the hands of another who wanted power and want to control this world. There's only one master in the world is the creator. Anything after that is divider, dictators, and destruction upon each other. Let's unite for God's sake. And I have a message for the American politicians who are playing with the Second Amendment. Get rid of the guns off the street of America. Get rid of the guns all over. Then my brothers, what you don't like for yourself, do not like for others. Then if you get rid of the guns off of the street of America, from people protecting themselves, you must not sell it to your allies, guns, bombs, plane, and racket to kill other people. As Jesus said, do unto others as you like them do unto you. What you like for yourself, you must like for others. And if you are the giver, give. And even if you've been refused from the one who to be accepted it, it doesn't mean you will stop giving. It is your duty because you believe in charity. But if you want to take it your way, because a man don't like you, you sanction his country. He don't like the other, you sanction his country. Why? Let's unite and save this human species. We do not want to be annihilated like the dinosaur and others that we are trying to put together in museum as skeleton for the world to see. I call upon the entire universe to stand up with me against this human tragedy and what happened in 9-11 must not happen again and we ourselves must not do it to other country. But if the UN and the world can come together, the time of dictators is coming to an end. Hand these dictators over. They must not give in political sanctuary to live in no country when they have committed brutality and murder against the peaceful citizen. Let's work together for the common cause, save humanity, and enter love in your heart and add color and religion. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Peace on earth. Thank you.